All right, here we are on the last day of Marvel Avengers Alliance. And we're going to make the magnanimous gesture of accepting and sending the top uh, 50 gifts as a the kind but useless gesture. And those are gone. All right, yep, that thing. There we go, because it doesn't recognize. This. Brings back an old issue. Um, here is the Cosmic Queller, the one of the Cosmic Energy set there, last one. Nope. Yeah, came to the game. And the roulette. Yesterday I did this one. Oh, I already spun. Sure, why not? Didn't even know it, it spun. Okay, so there we go. Landed there. Got a 500 or a thousand. There's a 500. You know, got more ISOs than I've ever had in the entire existence of this game in this one moment. There's done. And here are our. Flight decks, where we had to train up all the heroes. Here we have the two daily mission and the flight deck. Every so on minutes, all the people that were my allies starts off, of course, with this one. So you had to You had to send out these. You'd get, you'd get silver. Yeah, you, know, you could use this uh, to help with uh, calling somebody during a battle if you wanted to. But it was just this was how you would gain the silver you needed, the energy you needed, uh, shield points, which they've added majorly, by the way, plus thirty here, and. Uh, And if you did this every day, you'd, you'd at least get like 50 of the ISOs that you needed for the game. Um, you'd be able to keep keep up. You know. And so I want to thank all these people who were my allies, who accepted my requests. Um, every one of them was uh, 300, kind of weeded out the ones that went inactive, you know. These are all the people that uh, chimed in, 300, 300, And you know what's neat, too, is that when you were playing PvP, you could come here and you could see where everybody of your teammates were. You know, and if you could, you knew someone who was always reaching adamantium uh, versus someone who barely got out of silver, well, you know, the effort wasn't there, and you wanted to have as many people as possible uh, who worked as hard as possible in the game. And, yeah, see, okay, I did that. Um, so, as your allies, you know, um, it was just kind of nice to know that everyone was in the same boat you were. Oh, there we go. Sorry about the alarm there. I'm trying to figure out what that was. Um, new phone and all that. Never figure things out right away. All right, so here's the uh, back to the, the allies and uh, you know, I got one last collection here. And then you can see Reeves. Reeves was a uh, guy in charge of Met and uh, a very active guy until, you know, <laughs> he started working again. And, uh, and then we'd see him from time to time. But I kept him on, even though he wasn't active, but he was, you know, he's a fellow commish, uh, fellow admin. Um, you know, and you just go down the line here. These are the names of all the people. Uh, even had a Yankee fan in my midst. 
there's a Red Sox fan, there's me, and then like you can go up here and check the profile, and of course I'm showing my own, uh, in PvP, and you'd have, um, of course now you have nothing here, but you had your ratings, you had your offense, defense, check, you could uh, look at your tournament history here, and had one bad time where I got kicked, knocked out. I was 250 up and then couldn't get back in. And I went just below 250 and got this. I was so ticked. Adamantium all the way up. Um, you could check here. I guess you can't now. Okay. So anyway, then the gear. And you'd have your mission teams. Here and, and what you set for your mission, which was uh, off PPP. Um, you go here, you'd have your offensive setup for your attacks and your ISOs. Right? And then you can go here to you know your defense and have your defense set up and your you know suits. And the suit um, aspect, I guess I can't do it here. Um, was always changing and then you have your list of all your heroes so sometimes there'd be like this many heroes just around like in this little circle here and the guy would be an animantium and we're like there's no freaking way you know and then you'd see he had like a gold 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 and then suddenly he had adamantium I said that was obviously a cheater um, and you go down with my list and you see I have every single hero and this wasn't because of the gold that was given us to us the last week or so um, this was from hard work and from getting the, you know, the CP needed in order to access these guys or from finishing the, the missions and activities and such. And then um, you're attacking and defensing. It was nice for a while. We just had the attack and they finally gave us defense, but then they screwed up the defense. Um, everything they did, they did, they did well. And then they also made mistakes causing issues. Um, Here's just all the ranks uh, proud of. Here's what you you level up to. Boom, 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 boom. Um, you know, it was it took a lot of time. It made you think. It made you think always of uh, what to go do next. Who to try to uh, level up next? Who can you pair with? Uh, pair up with? Who would you get the uh, the weapons, uh, what kind of combination of weapons will work best with each member of your team in your PvP and um, what can guarantee you the most the most wins. So uh, here you see my, I got rate last PvP I got a rating of 1,693 when 1,550 kind of was the cutoff. Um, I was up at like 1,900 and then you know the last day couldn't get in again and that's how much you lose. So that was a big, you know, frustrating aspect of the game. Uh, so getting out of getting out of the PVP, uh, you know, we had the simulator, um, and the simulator, <clears throat> the simulator. Um, it started off with um, just a few tasks and such, and then we got, you know, built up. We got the train, all the training led up to the uh, each training for each particular subset. Um, Dr. Strain set, you'd get stuff. Uh, Shira, you get stuff. You know, you get awards. Uh, you had a villain archive to practice against, to battle against. So you could pick, you could pick whoever you wanted. Uh, you know, as uh, to to fight against, and then you could. You know, get your team, and you can see how well your team would do against someone of this type. So, if you found somebody of that type in uh, going against you in PvP, you had some practice here without really uh, worrying about losing. You know, um, Black Dwarf was uh, kind of a beast in terms of taking little damage. Uh, you know, and uh, and so you had to find what weapons would do the best damage against them so that when you came up against anybody in PvP who was also strong against damage, high health, uh, 
you would say, okay, like I used the sword here, and that was effective. Here you can, you know, you can see what character, okay, uh, that that was effective a little bit, not really, it's just a little, very, very small amount, so maybe you won't use that in PvP as much. Um, you can do setup stuff, then you kind of go through each weapon and see which one is the strongest against, you know, your choice, and then keep changing out weapons until you can find that kind of strength in all of them. So you can see here that um, I want to bring this mic closer. I hope you can hear me better. Um, you can see here what works effectively, and then boom, that's set up. And now he's gone with a 29k win. All right, so that would be a way to really help you to to test your weapons and your team. Get out of that. So again, uh, just simulator here, you go back to your challenges and um, I this would really help you to level up. It wasn't that effective until they started uh, really, really getting into giving you some huge uh, advances uh, in in your victories to level up a character, you would get what was it like seventeen thousand or something like that? Um, uh, seven, yeah, yeah. It was just it was just a huge win. Um, yeah, you can see my my stuff there. My ID doesn't matter anymore. But uh, yeah, these guys were like the toughest. Um, yeah, so we would, you know, you'd try to figure out, okay, how to, like, I'm not even setting this up for anything really good here, uh, but, because I never use Blade for this, but the idea was just that you would get so much uh, moving forward, and I, we thought it was a bug, but it was actually something that they were doing, kind of a kind gesture, if you, if you think about it. Um, kind gesture on their part to help us to level up a little quicker because that was getting so long to level up and we were at level 12 and then suddenly you know they kept on moving up every year to level 15 and that took a lot of extra time uh, and then when you had more heroes and more stuff it really it was like well talk about time consuming how are we ever going to get these guys up there and it, that was against those who just had super money and were just skip through all the procedures to level somebody up and just buy it you know spending I mean recklessly hundreds of dollars for each hero if not thousands it made no sense but yet people did that people who have money and no place to, to put that money except in a game because they want to be the best even though nothing they did um, made them the best you know, they just wanted to be on the top, but it, they did it all artificially. Most of us did it by constantly doing play after play after play after play to try to get as many, um, to get as much advancement on our hero as possible, level that hero up the most as we could per day until we reached level 15 and, gee, finally we had another hero that we could use in PvP. You know, and that was the ultimate goal. Because you never knew which hero would be the op hero for uh, needed in PvP, because PvP was always changing. The, um, yeah, see, Blaze getting butt kicked right there. But yeah, PvP was always changing, uh, and <clears throat> and we call that the meta, you know. So yeah. Just let me think here for a second. And and uh, if you were all prepared, you could help change the meta quick quicker. Uh, yeah, see, I blade none of my characters would ever do that uh, if I had this set up. Um, but that was the whole that was the whole idea is to be prepared. You know, like the Boy Scout motto: be prepared. And, and a good player would be as prepared as that player could get. 
uh, quick action. <clears throat> And you see which is the best attack. All right, see that one's not good. It's even with the two heroes, um, this one was also good attack. You can put this on here. Um, this really added to the game. Look at that slice and dice right there. Boom. Uh, <laughs> wow. And of course, uh, these last heroes just had no restrictions because they didn't really care anymore. You know, and you can't see I. You can't see how much you would max level on this because I, I'm max leveled already, but it was it was quite uh, extraordinary. All right, so you have this uh, that aspect of the game. You have already had PvP. You have the store here. Um, the store was a money maker when you had a roulette in the missions to be able to give you what you needed in order to obtain. Uh, all the activities needed for the mission to reach those to get your hero and you had to sometimes buy uh, those items uh, here are your ISOs ISO lists and you go through way down here you see the uh, the crap ISO the ISOs that we start out with you know these it was it was they were they were horrible these were the um, slotted ISOs for later on but you know, you can see here how they moved up. You know, this was plus 18, minus 18. What we got here, plus 4. You know, <laughs> that's where we were. Try to strengthen up your hero by like 25 points. Um, and we have the, the, sh and the shard. Oh, I got to check to see if somebody's at the door. Okay. All right. So we see the shards here, Ow. and uh, and you can see how the what was given uh, to make your characters stronger over time. And when those were getting old, then we had these. And for some reason, we would land these in roulettes more than we would land the ones that we actually needed. These things popped up all over the place, and they weren't good. They weren't useful anymore. They drove us crazy. Why can't we just get these you know here's your uh, the lock boxes that was part of one of the ways in which to get a hero you'd collect so many lock boxes by working hard to get them and, and roulettes and all that and then you get enough and you'd be able to get the hero for free um, and I never really bothered selling anything because for me I thought something could always be useful sometime down the line I didn't want to screw it up here we have all the suits I mean, these are the ones that just dropped on us we're like well oh great this is really these suits are great these flight suits because they started with this one and it didn't work right and then he just kind of gave up on that and towards the end they were like all right here you go we're giving them all we thought wow we're gonna have a lot to do you know and they did this during a pvp so you know you had to buy these outright and then slot them and figure them out we had no time to figure out we just had to throw them in there and see like what worked best and with what we set up, um, you know, all the all the suits were you know, unique. Had some kind of you know special advantage to them, but they also had a disadvantage to them. So you just had to figure out which one would give you the greatest advantage with without as much of a disadvantage down the line. Um, you know, cheaper suits. Eventually, they made some of them available to buy with gold. Of course, more money for someone who didn't work hard and had crappy suits. They always tried to better themselves, but it was never quite enough. They see you can buy it with silver with these. Just that was the way when you had two slots, you know. Um, look at that. So the four, four, just to put four isos in there, you know, compared to what we have today was uh, the three. There's the two. And I remember when, wow, ISOs, that adds to it. Wow, you know. Um, so <laughs> there was a lot of excitement and uniqueness here. They put some weapons here that were older ones. And sometimes 
you know, you'd, you'd forget about these, these weapons and they'd be obsolete. And then they'd create a need for them where you'd use them and say, wow, they're really useful again, you know. Um, and so you can go here and you'd say, okay, you know, I didn't have that weapon. That weapon never landed for me. So now I'm going to have to you know, spend some gold to get it because it is op. Like this guy was great for the last, towards the end, just did some tremendous damage. Um, experiment was also one that we used um, quite often. I've seen a laser sword a lot. Um, you know, and, and so you have all these weapons here that, that uh, you know, had some value, had some use, could work with a new kind of setup, and, and what was old was new again. And, and that made the game also quite interesting and exciting uh, to enjoy. You know, uh, here were the last mighty weapons. And this really made us think, okay, you know, before we had a different kind of weapon, you know, now uh, the worthy weapons, right? And now we have the mighty weapons, and so they're making these mighty characters, and it really did look like, hey, we are going to get a long, much further down the road time in this game, uh, because they're making all this new content, which is going to last for us for at least a year. With you know, so you had to get these, you know, first roulette these, and then you had to ISO fill them, and and that took time too, and so we. You know, we were looking, I was studying this, I remember studying this for hours, looking at these and trying to figure out which one would would do, would be the one most used in PvP. And I went after that one with a passion, it's trying to, you know, find that. And I think it was, I think it was uh, this one. Um, and I stopped playing for a while because when they said that the game was going to shut down, then what's the point, right? Um, had everything all leveled up. Uh, so there's the weapons and then you know you can get your that's not showing them here um, the ISOs again we're going to just go back to the ISOs uh, they came out with <laughs> they came out with these ISOs uh, that helped your damage and here we go. All right, you had you had ISOs that gave you powers, and then they came out with greater ones, stronger ones, the ones for just for the the heroes, and then finally um, they had this huge list uh, uh, that there were so many that made you go wow, drop your jaw when you looked at what they could do and this was totally going to change the game and actually make it harder to figure out to predict what was coming next because each ISO had a different power that there'd be so many different it wouldn't be a meta almost you know it's like an anti-meta ISOs um, here are the augmented uh, sadly we always wanted them for the agent because that would have really made the agent super powerful never happened but um, you know, these were for all the other the other heroes, and you could use these, and they would change the game, certain kinds. You know, like being able to hit uh, a, a ground uh, those in the air uh, with a ground attack, which made null um, quite useful. You know, and it they just there's just so much to this game, so 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 much depth, as you can see. And now we're back to the flight deck for every used to do 20 minutes, and that's how I'd gain the silver. 20 minutes, and you would. I think there was a cheat for this. I never, I would never use cheats, but there was a cheat for this that I think did it automatically. Because I, I saw some people with like silver, there was no possible way if they were active um, in uh, with their heroes that they were able to get and buying their heroes that they would have that much silver. Um, and yeah, and with a the game, there's always going to be cheats. And I was a cheat-free player, and I was proud of that uh, because I don't think that's worth all anything. Here's the lock boxes, you know, and and I saved these because I didn't just waste them. Um, because uh, sometimes I would need silver and stuff for, and you'd get stuff with the roulette with your lock boxes. Um, like the, we'll show you. Here's the here's the list. Okay, 
and you notice there's only four left. Uh, this you could do it by one, open one at a time, which I never did when I was trying to get a hero because I thought the odds would be you know less in my favor. And uh, there you got you know, an item, but I I kept the ones again for this reason, even though I I, I got the hero. Um, what was inside this? There could be a weapon. Sometimes you'd find that added weapons that you didn't have, old weapons you never landed. Um, you could you could get some ISOs that you needed. Here, okay, so let's go again here. And you know, there's some more ISOs. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, here's a item for just slot in your PvP. I use these a lot during uh, group boss battles, you know, holographic handlings to give extra turns. There's two of them there, see? So it was just it was just always so um, helpful when you needed it, when you ran out, that you could come up with these to use as you needed it. Um, use chrono boosts a lot. This never, I had so many of these things, never really needed them. Um, so they always were like a waste when you landed them in the roulette. So okay, our lockbox, uh, you know, open up, and then you get a new. This this would drive me crazy. I would I would get like four in a row new ones, and then I had enough for twelve more tr spins, and I'd get all duplicates. I mean, you know, no one had that kind of luck or lack of luck uh, than me, uh, it seemed. But that's just part of the complaint of the game. Do another one here, you know, uh, that was left over. And I'm not going to do them all here for you because there's no point. But just showing you, you know, here's, you get command points sometimes. That too was uh, helpful here. They didn't really make these available anymore. Um, so you had to get them here. And this gave you some health in a battle uh, to survive a battle, you know. Uh, you know, and you can see how many there there were. So we had all what was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. We have thirty heroes that we obtained through lockboxes. That happened either through PvP or uh, another another way, and uh, that's a lot of heroes to get. So if you were, if you could only do this, you'd have at least thirty heroes. If you didn't have any gold to help you out, and if you were ca coming from way behind, you know, um, that's that was that was also helpful. Here would be the comic books, and you'd have the story. You know, here's the story, and then. You collect that. You'd collect the comics to kind of read the little story about the the new hero that you got. Okay, I never really got into the stories or anything like that, but that still was a nice touch. Um, back, just quickly back to PvP. All right. Um, here we have the ladder. The dogs in the background going nuts. Hold on. Take a break with the dogs. Why are they barking? Coming at the door or not? Oh, there you go. They're home. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to fi finish up this part one of this uh, remembering PvP. Here you could go and see the top. Um, uh, top people, most of these people cheated, <laughs> but uh, some were actually got there on their own. Uh, my agent, if it's going to show here, you know, it shows where I I got. Um, and then all my friends, uh, those in my, my group here, yep, this was always something that drove us crazy too. All right, people are coming in, so there's all the Met, yeah. We're going to end our video here now with uh, uh, part one of remembering Marvel Avengers Alliance.